Hey guys, the moment that all Figma users have been waiting for has now arrived. And that is the announcement that the Figma plugins are now available in Figma. Now, I recently just uh, uh, downloaded them and uh, used the updated version of Figma yesterday and I tried a few plugins and uh, this uh, is going to be a game changer. I'm uh, definitely looking forward for all of the new plugins that are going to come and be updated in the next months. And in this video, I want to show you how you can access the plugins, how you can uh, browse and install them and also I'm going to show you some of my favorite plugins which uh, um, I recently used and uh, brief disclaimer I haven't been using this uh, for a long time so um, I definitely need to look around some more but these are my top favorite plugins so far so without further ado let's jump in my computer okay so let's talk about the Figma plugins now the very first thing that we're going to cover is uh, how to install them and um, essentially if you have you don't have to do anything because uh, it's already updated and you're going to see them under plugins and uh, manage plugins and then over here you can essentially find all the plugins and we're going to go over there in a moment and uh, if you are having uh, if you're using the Figma desktop app, uh, simply go on the most recent version of the software. You should see on the very top uh, um, menu bar, you're going to see the plugins. Uh, and uh, essentially it's, uh, it, it's uh, the same as uh, in the web app, just in a different uh, menu. So we're going to use uh, the web app for this specific uh, um, tutorial and example. And uh, let's uh, go under, again, under the menu, plugins, and we're going to go under manage plugins. Now, at this point, uh, the thing that you're going to see, if uh, this eventually loads, um, <laughs> it's uh, essentially all of the plugins that uh, you can install and uh, you can browse all of the plugins by going over here and uh, you're going to be able to see all of the different plugins so once uh, uh, one is interesting for you you simply click on the name and you can learn more about that plugin and in order to install it just click on install over here this one i already installed it but uh, if it's not installed uh, um, just the text will change to to install so that's that and uh, now i want to share with you some of the plugins that uh, i really enjoyed using and uh, that i want to um, share with you so the first one is charts and uh, this is a really cool plugin because it enables you to create uh, some uh, charts uh, directly and uh, in, in Figma and uh, essentially you can change the values and you can see a live preview of the chart which is super super cool and uh, of course once you're happy with the actual chart just click add chart and uh, nothing happens <laughs> let me do that again so of course these things only happen when uh, I'm doing tutorials um, never when I'm actually doing uh, um, some some personal work <laughs> but anyways uh, you get the idea for some reason it's not working maybe I'm doing something wrong but uh, it worked yesterday perfectly so just <laughs> bear with me on that the second one is content reel and um, essentially content reel is uh, a really cool plugin which uh, uh, if uh, it worked, terminate the existing user before running new. Okay. okay, perfect. So essentially, this is very similar to what Craft uh, was in Sketch. So I can just select uh, some uh, text and uh, I'm going to select uh, names and it will automatically create uh, some uh, random names. Now, the cool thing is that if I click on the three dots, uh, I can actually choose uh, if it's uh, uh, only male or female and name times and I can also choose the uh, languages uh, so you know French uh, or, or Spanish or, or US that's which is pretty cool I mean it's uh, it can definitely be very useful and especially if you're working on projects which 
or uh, um, country specific or you know for whatever reason you need um, there's also the phone numbers which uh, um, again you, the the methodology is the same just select everything and uh, you click uh, on one of these values and uh, you can essentially generate some uh, um, random data which is specific to that uh, to that element which uh, you selected now again pretty similar to what the uh, craft uh, um, plugin was in sketch so yeah pretty cool plugin now this is something which I'm really looking uh, forward to and this is uh, essentially the ability to add the uh, um, avatars of male uh, and female and uh, basically this is going to allow us to um, speed up all of the process of using uh, user avatars in especially on web apps uh, uh, use a lot of them and um, if you go over here we also have some icons now I haven't downloaded the, their fonts but I think it's a, it's a, a, a font uh, um, with, uh, with all the icons I might be wrong I haven't used it yet yeah I mean pretty cool and uh, I'm, I'm already seeing myself using this uh, plugin quite a lot this was definitely something that I was missing in, in from sketch so yeah so glad this uh, is uh, um, is back in Figma another cool plugin is the Unsplash plugin which uh, you can find uh, under um, the manage plugins and uh, of course if you install the Unsplash which uh, is in the front page by the way you can see it so basically the Unsplash plugin um, if you're not familiar with it Unsplash uh, is uh, a website where you can download the royalty free uh, photos and uh, they're really really cool and, um, and good quality so the way it works in Figma is uh, you simply create uh, some uh, shapes like rectangles and um, over here under the Unsplash plugin you can either insert a random image so as you can see I've just uh, uh, inserted some, some random images which uh, have been extracted from the website uh, or you can uh, choose uh, from uh, one of these presets such as animal and uh, it's going to uh, ma make uh, a photo a random of, uh, of an animal um, or one of these ones and um, basically this uh, enables us to access some uh, photos really really fast now um, I'm not seeing myself using much uh, these ones uh, except for for the minimal because usually the minimal uh, photos are, are pretty cool in line with uh, the type of projects that I'm doing however um, I would definitely use the search uh, feature a lot uh, so if for example I want to search uh, for something uh, specific like uh, pirates uh, let's see if uh, I can find anything um, I can literally browse through their uh, image gallery and uh, as you can see I can simply click on the image once I have selected the, the layer and uh, I can uh, automatically add them without uh, having to you know go on the website uh, download the image then uh, click on, on fill select the image uh, and uh, you know choosing the image from wherever I put it so all of that uh, process uh, is being uh, automatized and uh, it makes everything uh, really really fast uh, and um, yeah this is another uh, plugin which uh, I was using heavily in sketch uh, and I'd say that the the two plugins which uh, I use the most and that uh, I would highly recommend you guys to install is uh, both uh, the plugin which is similar to the Trickcraft one I can't remember the name content reel and also the Unsplash plugin um, I, I'd say these are really really useful especially if you're dealing with uh, a lot of projects at the same time and um, yeah so this is it guys uh, really really happy that Figma has now plugins and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to all of the new plugins that are going to come in the next months and uh, you can create also your own plugin if you have uh, the knowledge on uh, how to do so Figma has uh, if you go on the on their official website you can uh, 
find out uh, how you can uh, actually create your custom plugin. So if you have the skills and uh, you'd like to bring some ideas forward, definitely do so. The community would be very, very happy about it. And um, yeah, guys, this is it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and uh, also feel free to leave a comment. And uh, since this is a new feature, I haven't looked uh, at all of the plugins in detail. Feel free to let me know if uh, you have found uh, a plugin which uh, you absolutely adore. Uh, I'm always keen in uh, learning about new plugins. I was a heavy plugin user in Sketch uh, um, because finding the right plugins can really make uh, your workflow much faster and more efficient. So it's definitely a small time investment which uh, can yield a high ROI. So again, guys, if you like this video, uh, leave, leave, leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about the UI, UX design in general and uh, Figma tutorials and also the freelance design business side of things, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah, well, I think that at the moment we have over 200 videos and uh, uh, I'm posting regularly. So yeah, that's that. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one.